Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today I'm going to be playing The Forest, but this is not going to be a continuation of my old playthrough. This is going to be a new playthrough on hard mode. That's right. Fairly recently, a version 0 0.50, I think. Uh, a hard mode option was added. So here you can see normal, hard, and peaceful. Peaceful, no... Hostile mob spawn, normal is normal, and hard uh, makes it so that tougher enemies spawn more often, and the standard enemies uh, do more damage anyways. Uh, polluted water does more damage to you and gives you less uh, thirst replenishment. And other basic survival skills are now harder to do. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And just going to see how far we can go. This is going to be a yellow let's play. One life to live. Drinking some dew shine. Get my controller in hand. This is a game that's uh, pr pretty easy to play on all types of uh, inputs, like controller, mouse and keyboard, and if there's anything else really. I guess Steam controller. Although I have no idea if it is comport- Comportable? Comp compatible with Steam controller. Wow. I can speak even less than I normally can today. Wow, that's something. A still little Timmy survivor book. And... Yep. <laughs> So who knows how long this can go. We can go for either, like, three minutes, or we can go for another 45 parts, like last time. We will see. By the way, I am recording my voice separately, completely separately from the game. So, a little bit more editing work on my side, but uh, it should make for a better viewing experience, because the overall video is louder. In case you haven't noticed, a lot of my uh, playthroughs have pretty quiet audio because the microphone is not very good. It doesn't pick up a lot of noise, so I have to turn down the game a lot in order to balance it out pretty good. But here I have the game fully maxed out, and I can go ahead and change stuff easier in post-editing and stuff. So wow, I started out with no hunger. I have no idea if that is normal. But I guess it's okay since we're already full. Right, we got our axe. Uh, from what I have tested in my brief, like, playing before recording, uh, things kill you really easily, and they spawn really fast. So, like, first day, you get enemies. Usually it's, like, the first... Like, after the first five days, you start getting enemies. But, nope. First day. So we gotta find a place to settle down and start building fast. Trying to get as much as I can here. So we're getting meds and batteries. Gotta watch. Uh, okay. Need some booze and stuff. All right, we gotta go now. Cause I thought I heard somebody around here. Get some chicory. All right, I know where we are.
some flares that actually can help us, that can help ward off some enemies. We will need that. Take that pot. Take that money. Alright, so now we just want to keep going this way. And we will arrive at the beach that I like to stay at so much. It's a pretty good spot because uh, it's got one of those climbable towers. And that, of course, is safe from the natives somehow because they don't know how to climb their own ropes that they make. I think I can wash off in here without finding any alligators, yep. And I thought I knew where I was. I know that I've been to that camp uh, at least a couple times before. Alright. Finding everything we need to not immediately die. Hey man, how you doing? I want to get to a beach. I think that will be the safest place. Because it's in the open and I can see things coming from a long distance. Alright. Hopefully I got a blueberry seed. Looks like I may have. So that is very good indeed. I know where I am. No, I should have gotten one of you. Okay, I can get a flare gun. That will let me catch people on fire pretty easily. This place is near a fairly large native camp. So I do have to be very careful of who's around me. There used to be suitcases around here, but Seems like they're gone now. Oh no, they're here. Okay. We started doing another forest playthrough on Confident Gaming as well. My friend said that there's no suitcases around here. Clearly, he didn't look hard enough. So yes, in case you didn't know, uh, you can go ahead and just push the suitcases up from underwater. It's actually been very, very helpful in these videos. How many can I push up at once? Seems like at least three. Now I'm just pushing these back down. There we go. Uh, 
I am surprised that I haven't seen any natives yet. Thought for sure that we'd see them by now. There's the native camp I was talking about. That's a turtle. Uh, in terms of like my playthrough that I've done before on this channel, this is close to the second base that I made. So yeah, I could rebuild that, but uh, that is... Well, this place is... Uh, pretty traffic heavy in terms of the amount of cannibals, so. Got the flare gun. So now I have max flares and a flare gun. I have watches, alcohol, and circuit boards, but I do not have coins. Coins are needed to make bombs. Bombs are a pretty useful tool f for quickly... Uh, yep, there's an there's For quickly getting a, f a lot of wood chopped down. I would love to do that so that I can quickly get all the wood I need to be able to get a house built of some sort. Is that a person there or a turtle? I honestly cannot tell. <laughs> What's going on? Look at the turtles all spawning in right there. What's going on? Oh man. What was that sound? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of natives. I still have a lot of time left in the day here. One thing my friend and I found out is that the natives can drown if they just stand underwater for like a good amount of time. They will just die and drown. Or drown then die water all right so I'm gonna try to get to the tiny island over there and I don't want you guys to follow me we cool cool now I forget is this piece separate from the mainland over there well, I, I call it mainland. It's just a tiny bit of land in the middle of some place. I think the natives can just go ahead and run across from here, so I I should make haste. Lizards are a lot harder to catch now. So easy armor is still easy to get since it only re requires you to kill the lizard, but that number one step is harder to achieve. Okay, I went past the native camp without issue. I'm not gonna knock down their effigies because I think that will trigger something. I should see to it that I find some mud or some kind of camouflage to uh, get around here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the uh, pot here. And 
If I can or if it'll let me. Nope. I am going to go ahead and add cloth to my axe to give it a little bit extra rigidity and make sure that I can light it on fire if I need to. Alright, so what, I, what I've got to do is build a boat. But that requires some quite a number of logs. What is the least amount of logs I can use? Least amount of logs I can use is seven. So that is two trees worth. That's actually not too bad. Oh, I should show you. That's not it. That regrowing trees is on. So if I left this stump, eventually after a few nights, the tree will regrow. That is not the way I wanted it to go, but I'm going to have to make it work. There we go, that was actually really easy to do. I want to get these all rolling down the hill. Alright, get some meat. And armor. So I'm gonna put on the armor right now. So that I have some first line of defense. to work those logs all around to a similar spot to make it easy to build. Ah, come on. Oh my god. It's just going to be easier to turn it entirely. I'm going to have to force these other logs off that way. There we go, good stuff. Hopefully that doesn't go into the ocean. Should have thought of that before I flew it off the edge at top speed. And I am not able to sprint here. One more log here. And off you go. I only need seven, so uh, one of these logs can stay behind. I'll roll it down anyways, maybe, depending on how much time I've got. Now, I, I realize right now I, that I do need rope, and I... I'm going to have to craft some. 
surprised that I haven't been attacked yet. I've only been spotted. Alright, I'm gonna take this one. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Okay. These two I can just pick up. I probably should have been doing that from the beginning, but... I am stupid. Down you go. Alright, the majority fell right around here. Require some sticks as well. Oh, that requires four ropes, really? I have enough uh, things, but still, come on. That's that. So that's number two. That's number three. That's number four. All right. We're ready to get to home. We're safe from cannibals. We can travel all throughout the night. Let's go ahead and eat a candy bar to refill our energy. We will take a stop um, at uh, the first place we can stay, which will either be the yacht or the tent by the yacht. It's a while away. I'm gonna have to get myself to full energy somehow. I think that's close enough to full energy. There we go. If we're at full energy, we go a little bit faster. I cannot tell what that is over there. Is that people? Or is that just... Uh, a light of some sort? It must look terrible on YouTube because, you know, darkness, compression. As soon as the moon comes up, you'll be able to see something. But I can... Trust me, I can see something way over there. It looks like it's rocks in the ocean. I'll leave the lighter out so that you can see. Or see something at least. That cloud texture though. Actually it's not even that, it's more... Uh, film grain kind of thing, cause like the dots on the screen do not move. That might just be my screen though. Thirsty. I'll go ahead and drink the soda for energy and thirst. And I should be good until I get back to where I usually call home. Come on, moonlight. Get above those clouds. So that the viewers can see. So, the raft is not fast, but it is by far the safest way to travel. So, I think I pulled off that first day really good. We are full on hunger and thirst. And we've got ourselves a raft built, and we're heading home. I cannot say I could have asked for something better myself. I'm 
I mean, it's still behind some clouds. I can't believe that. You can at least see some things on the shoreline now. I'm gonna go around these islands. I don't want to get too close to shore because there are enemies that can throw stuff at you, like flaming tennis balls, and obviously, I don't want that. Even though I am right on the ocean, I, I could just jump in and put the fire out. Why would I want to do that if I can just completely avoid it altogether? So there we go. Moon is out of the clouds. You can hopefully see at least something. I'm going to try to skip nights normally. But there's only so much I can do. Alright, so there is some somebody on the beach over there. Maybe not you know, someone on the beach, but something. I think I know what that is, actually. And I will go ahead and pick it up. I know, there's... I'm actually almost certain that there's somebody on the beach. There's a little, like, lifeboat thing there. And they usually have a rope in them. I do want that rope for future projects. Because I have only so much cloth. I am drinking some Dushan. Quite refreshing, actually. Hmm, turns out what I was seeing was nothing more than a sandbank. And the lights I was seeing were probably just popping from render distance. Even though I do have the render distance set to ultra high, you can still see popping from even uh, not too far away. Where is that little, little raft, little boat? There it is. Is that black thing on the shore? Doesn't look like any native can easily get down or anything like that. Pick that up. And away we go. We're safe. I tried putting the lighter away to see if that would increase the speed at all, but... Nope. <laughs> tree? No tree. Tree? No tree. <laughs> Can barely see anything here.
I am actually quite stunned that I haven't seen any natives running along the beaches here. Then again, what beach is there? Right now it's just a huge cliff face, but we've seen some patches of land and so far, nothing. Alright, I think the sailboat is in there, the yacht. No tree, tree, no tree. Getting hungry again. I think you get hungrier faster in this hard mode. Yep, there's the sailboat. That is where we will save for the night and uh, end the first episode here. Next episode, we will find home. We spent almost the entire entire night sailing. Which means if I go to bed and go to sleep, uh, I will wake up at the very end of the day and I would have to survive the night. So I will not do that, I will just stay awake until morning, but I will save at the boat. So many things to find in this boat. There's a teddy bear. There's a cassette player. The cassette player is actually quite useful. So that we can... Oh, hey there. Cassette player is useful so that I can refill our energy. <laughs> oh well, I can jump through the ceiling. They're going to have to fix that in a future patch, but I guess for now we're just going to go ahead and save. And that is going to be it for now. Slot 2 is going to be where we go ahead and save. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe as well for more. Thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you in the future.